Let's get started. eighteen oh eight Samuel Francis Smith Songwriter Best known for writing the lyrics to My Country, Tis of Thee, which he titled America. Inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in nineteen seventy. The first verse of his composition was quoted by Martin Luther King Jr. near the end of his I Have a Dream speech. 1912 George Salty Pianist Remembered for his work with the Bavarian State Opera, the Frankfurt Opera, the Covent Garden Opera Company, and the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. He produced a series of notable recordings of Richard Wagner's operas, Ring Cycle. As a pianist, he won the Geneva International Piano Competition in 1942. He began his career as a vocal coach for the Hungarian State Opera. During the Second World War, he sought refuge and worked as a pianist in Switzerland. In 1994, he conducted La Traviata, launching the career of soprano Angela George. Early in his career, he studied in Budapest with the composer Bela Bartok. In this series, we're paying homage to the musical legends who were born on this day. From rock and roll pioneers to jazz greats, we'll take a closer look at the lives, careers, and legacies of these talented artists. Whether you're a fan of their music or just curious to learn more, join us as we celebrate the birthdays of these iconic musicians. 1917 Dizzy Gillespie Composer, Trumpeter One of the greatest trumpeters in history, an essential figure in the evolution of bebop and modern jazz. His first job was in 1935 with the Frank Fairfax Orchestra, later working with the orchestras of Edgar Hayes, Teddy Hill, and Cab Calloway. He led the State Department envoy in the Middle East in 1956, with its success earning him the title, The Ambassador of Jazz. His father was a bandleader. His harmonic style was so complex that many of his contemporaries failed to recreate his technique with John Faddis being the first to achieve it. 1921 Malcolm Arnold Composer The Academy Award-winning composer, in 1957 for The Bridge on the River Kwai, directed by David Lean, known for his smooth music, film scores, ballet music, and symphonies. He started learning the trumpet at the age of 12 and received a scholarship to the Royal College of Music at 17. He wrote a concerto for Benny Goodman. 1941 Steve Cropper R&B singer Guitarist of the bands Booker T and the MGs Named one of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time by Rolling Stone inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame. If you remember anyone on this list, let me know. Which one is your favorite? To learn more, take a look at the description of this post. Remember that if you like the content, you can share the link, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. This was a program for Music and Life by Carlos M. Created by Rune KM Productions.